the kitty is adorable. The bag is a bust. Um, you can't open the zipper all the way because I sewed too close to the zipper and the fabric keeps getting under the zipper and it's too close even to top stitch it out of the way. And this corner, as you can see, that's the batting. It didn't get caught in the thing. I think, I think maybe envelopes, maybe my more speed, my more speed more my speed yeah but look the kitty's so cute <sighs> well Kara I tried I'm gonna try again but since Christmas is closing in and I really do want to make these for a gift I'm gonna try the envelopes and we can laugh at how those come out Talk to you later, guys. Okay, I got the zipper open twice. But yeah, no amount of top stitching and no amount of ironing is going to fix that problem. Um, I know I can fix this by just putting it inside out again and kind of running the seam again to the inside and pick that up. But, uh, no... Are you disappointed in me? No, you're a nice lady. You won't be. You won't be mean, right? You won't be mad. You won't throw things. You might throw things. She's not going to throw things. <sighs> All right. I'm going to go. Oh, God. It's 930. I don't even want to start stitching. It's Saturday night. It's 930. I'm all bummed out. Okay. Pull yourself together, woman. Look at that. Look at that in there. That's terrible. <sighs> All right, I'm going to find something to do. I'll check in with you guys later. Bye. It's a gray and gloomy day. So it's a good day to have the tree on. And it's a good day to have Priscilla and Chelsea on. They hit 10,000, like we were doubting it. I expect them to hit 20 by next week. And me, I'm just going to work on this. I think, I'm not going to say, I'm not done with Death by Cross Stitch. Not by any means. Um, but I don't want to, I'm not going to finish that anytime soon. So I'm not going to try to finish it anytime soon, I guess, is what I'm saying. I think I would much rather start Wicked Christmas. I mean, you know, seeing as it's Christmas, I might have it done for next year. Um, Heaven and Nature Sing, I still haven't fit, uh, started. That's not getting done this year either. I had another one that I wanted to start. See, I don't even know. I don't even know what starts I want to do. I have to organize. I have to go through my patterns. <laughs> I'm whining. It's Sunday morning. Let's see if I can't get more of the green done. And that little space there is going to be another snake. Let's try to get the snake done today. I will check in later. Bye, guys. I get a fair amount done. I got a snake done, and I outlined most of the next um, headstone. So I did a bit today. Um, still grumpy over my... Um, project bag let's call it an attempt I mean I'll get over it I'll figure out something else to do but I only have this week and Monday night I can't work on much because I actually have to go to I signed up for guided meditation so I'm going to give that a try see if I can calm myself down then I have to go do a little shopping. So tomorrow night's probably not going to be a sewing night. Tuesday night is dinner at Dad's. I also have to renew my license before this weekend. So I would kind of like to go on Tuesday because I've been walking around with 7,000 kinds of documentation because apparently I have to prove that I was born here. So yeah, I'm a little stressed. Let's see how, let's see how the guided meditation does. I think I'm going to go have a cup of coffee. I'm going to watch probably some really bad Hallmark movies. And get ready for Monday. 
checking with you later. Bye, guys. Hey, guys. It is Monday night. And I actually made some progress tonight. I got uh, a lot more of, where am I looking here? This green and some of the dark brown. And I did some things. I had my first um, guided meditation tonight. Maybe that helped. It was very nice. I'm going to do it again. I think I'm done for the night, though. I'm going to go get comfy, watch some videos, and I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Good night, guys. All right. It is not totally, totally, totally finished. But this is better than what I was trying to do before. That was just, that was an atrocity. That was a crime against, I don't know, stitching finishing Lana would have been so disappointed in me this is better um I need to figure out how to keep the flowers on there I don't want to hot glue them I don't want them to be permanent because I don't know if if this is for my sister and if she totally doesn't want to just pack this away every year I'd like her to be able to use the frame for something else um so I'd like her to be able to take the flowers off. So I got to figure that out. But I am 98% done with Christmas. Hallelujah. I just... I need a nap. I'm going to need a vacation from the holiday. But at least I got this done. But now I have absolutely no desire to stitch anything at all at all so I think I'm going to treat myself to some ginger ale because yeehaw and watch some floss tube I'll check in with you guys tomorrow good night guys it is Friday night I don't think I've stitched very much this week at all it's the week before Christmas what are you gonna do I think I got a fair amount of done tonight I got a whole nother snake that whole left-hand side is filled in. <sighs> but now I am tired. I'm going to go get comfy. I'm going to go watch some videos. I will talk to you guys later. Good night, guys. Hey, guys. It's me. I brought my face. Well, as you have undoubtedly just watched, I did very little this week. Very, very little as far as stitching is concerned. I did other things. Some other things. I fixed the bag. The bag. The bag. It's not as awful. The zipper is, is, is zipping. She says as it. Son of a bitch. Okay. So. It's unzipping. It's um. Let's call it temperamental. But it's functional and it is holding my. Seriously. Seriously, because the camera is running. Yeah. Anyway, it's holding my Victorian motto sampler threads. I'm a little addicted to these. Just a little. Not a lot. Just a little. Um, I know if I turn it inside out and just take a bite out of that, I can tuck that away. It's not something I'm going to give to somebody, but at least it's a usable bag. I can use it. I don't need nice things. I do have to figure out, well, not so much this kind. I have to make an envelope, like a small one, like, like an envelope sized envelope. This year, my sister and I have decided to pay for my father's cleaning lady for next year, which sounds much more upper middle class than it is, I promise you. Um, she shows up, she polishes things, she hides anything that he might want to find throughout the week, and then she leaves. So talking about it with my sister, we decided that what we're going to do is because we see him every week, we have dinner with him, for that month, we'll tuck the money in and he can give that to her whenever she shows up. But I wanted to make like a little envelope kind of thing just to make it special, to make it a gift, something we can hand to him. 
I refer to it as the delivery system for things. I do that with gift cards. I can't just hand somebody a gift card. It has to be stuck to something. So in perusing my available fabrics, I have um, strangely enough come to realize that pretty much all I have is Halloween fabric, which is not really appropriate. So I went to Joanne's. I wasn't going to spend any money this week. Well, I did manage to find a package of fat quarters that were on clearance for four dollars and some odd cents. They they aren't Christmas patterns. They aren't neutral. They aren't they're black and white. Nothing that I was looking to use, but they were on clearance, and I had to get them. And unfortunately, they're way over there, and I put in a picture or something. They're just little fat quarters, whatever. But I did find a set of like Christmassy plaids. So I figure to use that. Plaid is interesting. It's Christmassy at Christmas and any other time of the year it's just plaid. Um, but I got that and I'm gonna do the my plain muslin lining. I'm gonna do a velcro closure so I got a little button. Look at the little button. He's so cute. Um, just to cover where I put the, the Velcro. In theory, I should be able to have that done in a couple of hours tonight. You might see me still working on it Tuesday. So that is actually my project tonight, is to create that envelope. And then, I don't know what I'm going to do. Right now, I don't feel like stitching. I feel like it's too close to Christmas. There's too much going on. I can't even, I can't even. So I don't know what I want to do. Maybe, maybe, I make no promises, we will end up with a bobbinate with me or something like that. Or not. One of those things will happen. I finally, I'm not going to say I'm happy with, but I finished fooling around with my sister's gift. I've ruined it. I've ruined it. Giving it to her anyway. Because I'm done. I'm all done. Why these are in my hair? Because I'm done. I ended up... Um, if you remember last time, I just ended up with the stitching because I threw out the wreath and the mounting and the whole thing. I went to Michael's and I found a frame with the little clip and I put it, put the stitching on the little clip and I said, it's so cute. We're good. We're done. She can take that out. She can put other things in the frame. It's a year round gift. We're done. What am I ever done? I said, oh, why don't I get these little white poinsettias and I will tuck them into places in the frame and it'll make it look Christmassy, but she can still pull them all off and use the frame year round. Awesome idea. I get that all set up, but I can't, you know, scotch tape wasn't holding the stems where I wanted them to be. So I said, okay, I'm going to get a piece of ribbon and I will hot glue them to the ribbon and I will wrap the ribbon around the frame and then she can still take them off and use the frame throughout the year. And that was fine. But it was tough for me to get things centered and you know how I am with the centering. So I had the bright idea of I will put the ribbon on the frame and then hot glue the things to the ribbon rather than what I had done the first time, which was take, you know, just have the ribbon in front of me, hot glue the flowers on and then attach it to the frame. Okay, so I wrecked the frame because as I pushed through the flowers, through the ribbon, the glue, really? National grid please. Where was I? Oh yes, I ruined the frame because the hot glue went through the ribbon and stuck to the frame and when I pulled it away now you can see where the glue was and I was picking it off and then the finish started coming off and you know how you just keep picking at something and it gets worse and worse and worse and worse. 
I have not completely decided that I am not going to Michael's tomorrow to buy a different frame. But I'll show you what I did. If you laugh, we'll find you. I know, I mean, I know. There's too many down here, I know. No. But like, they're attached to the ribbon and the ribbons just go around the back. I know, I know, I need to cut that off. I know! All right? Um, I just really wanted her to be able to take those off and then use the frame other times of the year. I'm over it. I'm over it. I'm over it. Um, I don't know if I can... I don't know. I will, I will take a picture of the damage and put it here. It's disappointing, to say the least. These things look better in my hair than they do on this. I know, I know, I know. All right, what else do we have going on? Not a whole lot. This past week, I had my first guided meditation class. It's going to be fine. It's going to be good. It was not good at it the other night. I was paranoid the entire time that my alarm on my phone was going to go off because going in there, I was like, I will put my phone on silent. Look at me. I'm so smart. And then as we were just getting ready and it was dark and we really couldn't be moving around anymore, I realized that if you have an alarm set, even if the phone is on silent, it will go off. And I was paranoid the entire time that I had an alarm set for while we were be sitting there quietly. Needless to say, I did not follow along very well with the guided meditation. I was supposed to end up with a word, an object, and a food, and I ended up with... I didn't get a word. I got an egg, which technically is a food, but I got it as a word, but it wasn't a word. I'm not making any sense. Don't worry about it. Egg, lipstick, and honey. I am pretty sure that is pornographic. Go me. So anyway, we are so close to Christmas, we can taste it. And speaking of tasting it, I have some peppermint bark over here that's just calling my name, so I think that's gonna be my dinner. Even though this past week and this coming week um, will be crazy, I encourage you all to take a second and just relax, enjoy some stitching, enjoy some floss tube, enjoy some terrible, terrible, terrible Hallmark movies. Do it. So worth it. You'll feel dirty afterwards, I promise. But the decorations are amazing. Try to enjoy yourselves this week. If you're celebrating Christmas, have a Merry Christmas. Please have a good holiday. Be safe. Um, enjoy yourselves, eat all the things, drink all the things in moderation if you're not driving anywhere. And, um, and I will talk to you all soon. Thank you as always for your subscriptions and your comments and your likes and your dislikes and all of you who just check in with me and make sure that I am still upright. I am still upright. I'll talk to you all soon. Bye guys.